quite a survival story to tell you about tonight. A Byron Center man is alive after a 4,000 pound steel plate fell on him. Now 24 Hour News 8 is talking to Michael Brown after the accident he says changed his life. It was an all hands on deck response. It's a miracle I'm alive. Watching from his bed set up in his living room, the story that began a new and painful journey for Michael Brown. It's amazing to see it. I don't know how I managed to live through it. We showed Brown the story that we aired back in April when it happened. Brown was crushed by a two-ton steel plate, which is about the weight of this 1992 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. It happened while working at CAD CAM Services on Brockton Drive in Kentwood. I was putting my first clamp on and the strap broke. So it come out and hit me in the chest first, and then I fell backwards into the pit and landed and landed in a fetal position, and then the other side of the strap broke, and it fell down on top of me. Pin him onto the floor. His injuries were reportedly life-threatening. He says he wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the quick response of Aeromed, who was less than a mile away, and firefighters who rushed to the scene. Because when I went unconscious, I quit breathing. So... Yeah, if they wouldn't have been there and innovated me to get me back breathing artificially, I wouldn't be here at all. Then every day was touch and go until... First three days in the hospital, they had no clue whether I was going to live or die. They couldn't tell you. And then finally after three days, my body decided, okay, we're going to live. Now it's the littlest accomplishments that reap the biggest rewards. I can move my foot down. I can't pick it back up yet. I can flex my toes down. I can't pick them back up yet. Brown says the motivation is simple. It's not for himself. It's for his wife and two sons who have been behind him in every part of his recovery. And I'm working at it as hard as I can to get it better. Because I want to walk. I want to run. I want to do it all with my kids. That's my motivation to get better. So I work at it as hard as I can. In Byron Center, Jessica Leffler, 24-hour News 8.